Magnum's got a hit on his hands. Tom Selleck, one year ago, I had the chance to meet this gentleman before he was a star. And I said unto him, you are going to be a star. Because and I didn't believe you. Your show was slick. The kids, I said, the kids are going to love it. The kids loved it. They like my car. They like your car? When are you going to get that thing fixed right? All they do is talk to me about, I mean, the first thing, it's the kids saying, we love the car, we love the dogs, and you're okay, too. <laughs> <laughs> Are the dogs really as mean? No, they're good dogs. It's sometimes hard to work with them um, because it's frustrating because they all, what, what's the expression? You never, don't ever work with kids and dogs because when they get it right, no, Don't ever use follow them. Use. Don't no. ever follow a kid or a dog to act. Well, they're, they're real good dogs. They're not vicious at all, and uh, they're just well-trained. You know what his dad said to him, yay, these number of years ago? His dad said to him and his two brothers and his sister, if you don't drink or smoke or swear by the time you're age 21, I'm going to give you a gold watch. A watch? Oh, you didn't get a gold watch. Well, because you swore I read a little somewhere bit. that I got... <laughs> no, I read somewhere that we all got gold Rolexes. Well, that, no, that wasn't quite the case. Um, we got... It was a kind of family tradition. My dad's father gave him a watch, and... Uh, I did pretty good. Every so often, I must have lost my temper, and I, you think I swore a little bit, but I didn't drink or smoke. You never drank or no. smoked? Really? And no, and I, uh, I wasn't real square. I mean, I, my friends, I must say most of my friends were, were drinking, and uh, uh, to some degree or another, not, not a whole lot, but uh, I don't know whether it's so bad, and I, I think it's important for kids today to realize it's not so bad to be different. When did you start? And say no. I've never started. What the, who you never, you, you don't drink at all? Nothing? Well, I, when I got in college, late in college, after my junior year, I, I uh, had some, an might, occasional have, drink for a medicinal purpose. <laughs> only. It helps you to sleep better at yes. night. But I, I think that's important for the kids to know, especially the kids who watch the show, yeah. because uh, you can say no and, still, and your friends will still like you. It just makes you a little different, maybe even a little special. Because... Uh, I know kids today still want to experiment with drinking and, and drugs, too, and I don't necessarily think it's too good of an idea. Well, would you go so far as to say if kids don't drink or smoke or swear, they could grow up and look like you? Yes. Oh, doesn't it's everybody do things. that? Is it too late for me? Could I get uh, yes, a retread you here? Watch. Huh? You can have a watch. I can have a watch. If I retire <laughs> in 25 years, I can have you a watch, too. can have a too. watch, too. <laughs> Did you see the movie Raiders of the Lost Dark? Have you seen it yet? Yes. I did. It's a wonderful know, movie. Do you know that he turned down the role of no, India? I, I heard that you turned down the role, that you were offered the role. I wouldn't turn it down. I would have done anything to do that movie. I was offered the role. I, I had done Magnum, the pilot. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, this was just before I met you last year. And I had uh, been offered, they, I screen tested for Raiders, and they offered it to me, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. And what happened was CBS picked up Magnum and I had a, a previous commitment, so I couldn't do it. Uh, I would have done just about anything to do it oh. except break my contract, which I don't really yeah. agree with. And uh, um, I saw it. People said, don't go see it, you'll get very depressed. Well, I saw it and they just did Dynamite. a wonderful job. And it's Harrison Ford's part. I mean, that happens with every part. They get offered to people, people can't do it. Um, it's the person who does its part. And he did a wonderful job. I don't know Harrison. I'd like to meet him and, and tell well, him. Well, no that one had ever heard of him uh, before uh, Empire Strikes Back and Star Wars, yeah. really. And now yeah. he's got so he's got a little jewel there, and he's yes, going to he take got. it and run. It's 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 outstanding. He was wonderful, and it's a wonderful movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you about Concrete Cowboys. Oh, do because you made the original movie with um, our dear friend Jerry Reed. Yeah. Okay. Then you had already committed yourself to Magnum. Right. So you couldn't do the series. Well, I didn't. I did Concrete Cowboys as just a movie with no contractual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a pilot. Okay. They liked the pilot. And, uh, that did, may not be your question, though. No, no, the question is, I saw Jerry Reed and the series, and I thought it was outstanding. CBS stuck it in Saturday night. Yeah. It only ran like four times. It was, a, it was well, well done. Well, Jeff Scott I know very well. Was, who played and it uh, died. the other part, and he's a wonderful actor and a good friend. We used to go up on all the same interviews for everything. And uh, I don't understand that. It, it's just the nature of TV. I've done a lot of pilots that I thought were pretty good shows, and they just, and they never got on the air. I don't know who makes those decisions. You just 
feel real lucky when somebody gives you a fair shot. And they did, I must say with Magnum, they, they did, because they bought a full 13 episodes and gave the public time to watch it. I don't think four shows is, is fair to any show to decide. Mm -hmm. And I also thought Concrete Cowboys was a good show and a good premise. And both those guys are my friends. I would have loved to yeah. see the show go. You know, the problem with your show is the fact that you're everything. You do it all. What happens if you get sick? Because um, they really, you really haven't built up the support characters to the point where they yeah. can carry it. What God, you must put in a day that's a killer. Well, uh, the first season I worked, well, we worked six days a week in Hawaii. Mm. So the first season I averaged about, not exaggerating, about 80 hours a week. And I would just go home and sleep and learn my lines and eat and go to work. And Sunday was, wasn't much better because I'd try and sleep late and I'd have a cup of coffee and the day would be over. <laughs> I'd be, have to learn my lines for the next day. So it was real hard. And if I do get sick, about 150 people are out of work. Yeah. Or if I do, that, it's the same reason that, that an actor in my position shouldn't be doing, shouldn't be egotistical enough to do all to his do own stunts. All. Because uh, even if you can do them physically, I mean, a lot of them aren't physically particularly difficult if you're willing to sacrifice your body. But if you get your ego in the way and do it and you break a finger, you might not be able to work on camera and you put a lot of people in jeopardy in other work a lot of other people's jobs it's not just yours well i hate to say this but bye guy bye ah! <laughs> tom Selleck. of course you know him here as magnum on magnum pi hey thank and we weren't Thanks. silly at all were we yes we were we were well behaved and uh -huh. serious we Medium. know about your entire life now next and year you're I'll a be star silly. next year you'll be silly okay and we'll be back on the morning show right after this